How to modify transitions. This Camera Move Pro is fully responsive. That means you can simply stretch or compress your transitions as you like. Start by selecting Transition and hit Resolve in the inspector. Here, you can set the length of the transition by frames or seconds. For this one, I just set 3 seconds. Here, for example, I would like to set only a half a second. And in this one, one and a half seconds. Perfect! I like that! Let's have a look at what we have in the inspector under the Fusion tab. Here, you can activate this center pivot overlay for better aiming your zoom transitions, but don't forget to turn it off before exporting your video. Here, you can change the edges of the transition. Invert zoom animation. Decrease or increase motion blur quality. Or motion blur shutter angle. Here, for example, you can enable or disable the lens distort effect or the strength of desaturation effect. Let's get rocking with these sound effects. Open the Sound Library tab, first hit this arrow, and now select your current database, which you have selected in the Project Manager. Now you can hit those dots and add a custom library. The folder with the sound effect is also in the same path where you copied the transitions. Import it, and now simply find the sound effects using your transition names. Wait, here I cannot see the name. Just zoom the timeline a little bit. Perfect. Each transition has five sound effects of different lengths. 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, and 3 seconds. Perfect! Hell yeah! Now, I just speed up the last transition to one second and simply grab the one second sound effect version. This is insane! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials, tips, and new products. Let's continue to the next tutorial where I will show you how to achieve smooth playback of the transitions on the timeline.